Hello friends, I'm Danzia Dola and in my group I have Axwa and Tasneem. Today we are going to do a class activity of RAN. RAN means Radio Aids and Navigational System. Today we are going to explain a little bit about VOR. VOR is an instrument and a radio station. Before explaining about VOR, I would like to explain a little bit about navigation. Navigation is a plan of process and directing the route of an aircraft by using maps and radio aids navigation system. VOR is a radio station that transmits radio signals in very high frequency omnidirectional range. It was developed in United States of America in 1940s. In 1960s, it was adopted by the ICAO members. Now I'm going to explain about the VOR. As you can see here, this is the VOR station and it produces the signals which is 360 degree radials of one spacing which is aligned with the magnetic north of VOR location. Pilots use these 360 degree radials to determine their position. VOR is the most significant navigation system. It is more simple and it produces the more accurate location to the pilots. VOR consists of two types of antenna. The first one is constant antenna and the second one is rotating antenna. As you can see here, this one is the constant antenna and this one is the rotating antenna. This constant antenna provides the frequency which is 30 Hz. And above the rotating antenna, this one, as you can see here, this one is the rotating antenna and it provides the magnetic bearing to the pilot and it also produces the frequency of 30 Hz. As I've mentioned before, that VOR has a receiver and an indicator which is a cockpit. I want to show you that this one is the receiver. It's actually a tuning device and this is the indicator which you can see in the cockpit. Prior to navigating to the from your VOR station, you have to enter the VOR frequency and each VOR station identify its own Morse code identifier. It's the VOR indicator which you will find an aircraft shown right here. There is a little knob called OBS. You can see that right down here. Or it's also called as Omni Bearing Selector. OBS can move the entire phase or the entire dial of the instruments to any desired course. Now, this is the course deviation indicator or CDI needle. It indicates the displacement of the aircraft relative to the selective omni bearing. Now, the CDI needle. It's also called as course deviation needle. Now, if the CDI needle moves to the left or to the right of desired course and you'd fly left to intercept it. Now, each dot that you see on the needle right here represents 2 degree when the needle is centered you are directly on the selected course. Now this window right here is the to or from indicator flag. If it display as to, then you are flying towards the VR station. And if it display from, then it means aircraft is flying away from the VR station. The window can also show a red flag. If the red flag is popped up, this means you are in an area of ambiguity or VR signal can be relied apart. Now I'm going to explain about how VOR works. Well, first of all, the ground station transmits the signal and then pilot tunes the OBS, which is the Omni Bearing Selector, and then the aircraft receives two signals, one that, one's, that comes from the stationary antenna and another comes from rotating antenna. And then the avionic system calculates those signals and it produces the three letter Morse code or you can say the audible voice. As I've mentioned before about the advantages of the VOR, it is very simple and very accurate. It produces a very accurate location for the pilots, but it has some disadvantages as well. Well, the first disadvantage is the signals cannot be received below 1000 feet. For example, if your aircraft flying below 1000 feet, then it cannot receive the VOR signals. And the second one is, it is costly to maintain. The VOR station, both VOR station indicator and the receiver in the cockpit is very, very expensive and it is very costly to maintain. 
And the third one is it is very sensitive to terrain. For example, is there are a lot of terrain in front of or beside the VOR station, the signals it affects, it affected by the terrains. VOR is a significant equipment comparing to other equipments in cockpit and station as well. It provides more accurate information to the pilots and it ensures the safety of the people on board. The, although it requires a high cost of maintenance but it always works. And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this video.